Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Look at these absolutely appalling viewing figures. Terrible. Started off 802,000. Not even a million viewers for the episode one, the, the pilot, the first episode. No, 802,000. And ended with 428,000. Only that, the lowest viewership of its entire season. Well, this is going to come as no shock to you. It got cancelled. Look at the demos ranging from 1.4, which is bad enough, and that was on the first episode, all the way down to 0.05. On the penultimate episode with one, two, three, four, 0 0.06 is in there. It's not a surprise. You can see these figures for yourself. You can see how appalling they are, and you can see why it got cancelled. We're not talking about Gotham Knights here. No, 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 no. You see, we're talking about Naomi. These are the viewing figures for Naomi. Gotham Knights is doing fucking worse. This is the first season of Gotham Knights. By the way, a show, according to the press, which is the third most viewed show on HBO Max. Now that could mean anything. Number one, it could mean it's a complete and utter lie. Where are they getting that data from? Because HBO Max aren't announcing it. Sources. Tomato sauce. Barbecue sauce. Honey mustard. Oof. Love honey mustard. But it's not just one media outlet. It's a couple of them trying to push this narrative. It's the third most. So let's play devil's advocate. Let's just say that Gotham Knights is the third most view showed on HBO Max behind The Last of Us and uh, some other shite. <sighs> that doesn't say anything about how many people are watching it, though. I mean, Gotham Knights is a new TV show and a streaming service relies on new content. So even though it has plenty of other stuff which people have seen that they might want to see again when something new comes along if you're paying your hard-earned cash dollar money for that streaming service then you might want to check it out but it also might be the third most viewed show on hbo max because nobody's watching anything on hbo max and that third most viewed show could be um, 50,000 people a month, a week, whatever. That's what it could... It could be all kinds. It doesn't say anything. This is what says something. This is the actual network that it's on. The CW. Where the regular person who doesn't pay a premium to go to a streaming service can turn on their box... And I don't know how all the American networks work in America, but it's there for you to see. If your region, area, whatever, your provider allows you to latch on to the CW. But we have now got confirmation of the episode five viewing figures. I've not watched it. My brother's come up this week. We're doing stuff. We've sorted out lighting. Look, let there be balanced light. There is now a proper in light fixture giving proper in light. Which, by the way, is much more interesting than talking about Gotham Knights. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I haven't even watched this week's episode. And by the way, I know I'm the king of cringe. I know it's what I do. Milf Manor, Bat Whammon. I'm here, King of Cringe, but even I am struggling 
to get through Gotham Knights because it Gotham Knights it feels like it's written by a bunch of window lickers that have been given crayons to write a script but unfortunately when you've gone in to check to see what they've done they've eaten the fucking crayons and now they're licking windows they're licking windows what's a girl to do i don't know but we're on episode five <laughs> and this show started off it's pilot episode it's premiere it's primo numero uno the product that was created and put in front of the execs and they went fuck yeah we'll have 13 episodes of this because you start off with a half season order and then if all goes according to plan if all goes well if people tune in kick up their feet put their arm around their good lady and it's the cw so it's a gay couple obviously <laughs> obviously obviously and watch this show then they'll go after a few episodes this show's got a full season order now that never came for naomi and this show's doing even worse there's no excuses there's no excuses people have the option to watch this they're not watching it uh people aren't locked into coof and therefore oh no they've got too much choice because everyone's locked down and so they're, they're playing video games or this that uh, our, our network never stands a chance no you've got as much chance as anyone if you put out decent content and this this pilot episode premiere episode was even 200,000 less than Naomi, which got <laughs> axed. But this week, 0 0.383. 383,000 people tuned in to watch. The Critical Drinker gets more views than that in the first five hours of a video he'll pull out. And let's just be honest here. Those viewerships are probably much more legit than this shit here. But look at that demo. 0.05. Down 50% from the previous week. Now... Oh. I don't know. Was there a sports ball game on? Was was the uh, the Minnesota Kinks playing against the Baltimore Dragon Tamers in the netball final? I don't know. But nobody gave a flying fuck is what I do know. And they lost half half of their demo from the previous week half of it yeah 18 to 49 i fall into that group obviously i'm not counted in this demo because a you haven't seen it and b i didn't see it in america i saw it with my i'll see it with my friend captain jack sparrow easy which equates to what 70,000 people <laughs> 765 to 70,000 people within their target demo my video from yesterday is is over 60,000 it's <laughs> nobody's watching nobody's watching nobody's watching and you know why because it's a mitigated dog shit, the show. How it got, how it even got the green light, I have no idea. But has this received a full season order? No. I'm not talking about renewals. I'm talking about a full season, season one order. No. Is it going to get one? No. Why not? Because it's dog shit and it's going to get cancelled. Now, the only thing, the only thing, 
that can prevent that from happening. As is, if HBO Max say, we have zero, zero original content on our channel, hardly, which I don't think is the case, because I think for the most part, HBO Max actually has... Uh, I mean, I didn't like The Last of Us TV show, gave up on it, thought it was trash garbage. But, you know, it's well made, it's well shot, and I, ca I can't deny that about the series. And everything that appears, you know, the, the decent shows which go up on there seem to be well made and well shot. This is not well made, this is not well acted, this is not a good story, this is not well shot, this is CW dog shit. But we're five episodes in now, out of 13 that have so far been awarded a half season. There's been no full season order, never mind a renewal for season two. It ain't gonna get one. It's gonna get axed. It's a mitigated trash. The writers don't know what they're doing. They're from Batwoman and they failed upwards. Why the CW would keep them on, don't know. Maybe it's because they're pushing, once again, their degenerate message to a demo which ain't even tuning in. It's over 50-year-old men that are whacking it off to the pretty little ladies. Get over it, CW. Your show is a goner. Good riddance. Bad rubbish. See you in the next video. Bye for now.